Bravo All right, back for the big tricky backyard fur part two. So we're back from COVID. We gotta wear masks and stuff. At least when we're on the ground, we got some silly regulations that we have to abide by. So this is what we'll be wearing today. Anyways, you remember, hey, there's Brian. Where's your mask, Brian? Look at Brian trying to infect everybody. Six feet away from Doesn't even care about my safety so here's the tree we gotta finish <laughs> we gotta finish chunking that down we're almost at the beginning of may now so it's been over a month i have a feeling this is going to be somewhat labor intensive kind of brutal probably be sore after doing this after being out of work so long the last tree i did um that log flopping tutorial was like half the size and i was actually pretty sore from doing that you ready to you ready to party, Brian? Yes. Looks like you get to plant all your flowers. Yeah, at least I'm starting in the front. When you guys are done back there, then I have a bunch of begonias I start inside. Yeah. And you know, they get three feet tall. Mm -hmm. So they're now like this big and it's ready to fall over. So I thought, if you don't want to come back pretty soon, I don't want to come back. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I remember last time you were saying like towards the end of May. Yeah. Is when you do it, so. Get them out there, so. Yeah, look um, at that. We'll be all ready for you. Yeah, I was so glad you guys put me in the top of the list. Yeah, this is the first thing we've done. Oh, so. well, it's a lot of heavy work on your first day back. <laughs> yeah, you're it's telling me. Break you in. Yeah, for sure. I know. I'm gonna, I'm gonna sleep good tonight I for bet sure. You are. Making the plan. We're gonna lower the wood out of this tree. Oh, you're talking. And I'm talking to my GoPro, and I'll explain what I'm doing up there. Scott's gonna explain what he's doing down here. There's Scott. I'm gonna use gravity. Why isn't your face mask on? Are you trying to? Kill everybody? <laughs> it will work. All right, now I feel safe. I feel. Safe. I feel no, we can have a video. <laughs> <laughs> We're safe. <laughs> I feel safe. All right. Well, I just gotta get up there and then we'll get going. All right. Here we are. Whew. I can already tell this is gonna be a rough one. Man, are you guys below me? Okay. Heads up, Brian. Set my block and just splice this thing when we are off. Oh, this is long enough. Ugh. All right, so here's my big three quarter inch DMM impact block. No, you can wait a second. Just gonna set it like that. That's all there is to it. These ultra slings are pretty handy. Lower my rope. On my block. I'll put on my goodies. I need the rigging line and my saw. Ooh, look at this three-quarter line. Are you gonna be uh, taking doubles, <sighs> like triples or something? This one's gonna be about five feet tall. Triples, huh? Coming up. Some people like the rigging rings. I like the blocks better. Just preference, I guess. Okay, good. Ah, that's good. Just gonna put that there. If you remember from my other videos, I was using a half inch and a carabiner on it. So now I'm just gonna be tying knots because if you if you don't use a carabiner, it's just one less thing to fail in the system, you know. So I'll just tie it and not for this. Thanks, Pelican Rope for this five eighths bull rope they sent me. Oh, you're good. I'm just talking to myself. So, when you're setting these blocks, you want to make sure this pin thing, and it might look different on your blocks, you want to make sure that's on the outside of the tree. You know, it's not rubbing up against the bark. All right. So tighten it, and then I do a quarter turn back so it doesn't seize up. I'm 
just gonna do a stopper knot here for a second so it doesn't get pulled through. Right. I'm gonna throw this around for extra safety. And I think you want to put this above here and have your, your lanyard underneath this thing. So I think if you set your lanyard too high, you have the risk of flipping off. So I, I'll put my lanyard under here. I'll put my climbing line on the top of this. All right. All right, I'm gonna cut my notch. We're gonna have to, so this is our game plan. Okay. We're going to fill up that top side first, okay. as much as we can. Right. We'll roll as many as we can. Yes. Fill this up, roll rounds into here. Yeah, I'll get this stuff out. Okay. And you can roll And we'll fill this, too. fill this up. And uh, we'll see where we're at with that, but we want to take all the smaller stuff as far away as possible. Right, and that would be here. Yeah. Right. <laughs> Do my slip knot. I'm gonna throw this around, and I'm like, I'm not any sort of expert on this. I'm just showing you how I do it. Actually, you are an expert. You're a professional. You know that, right? You get paid to do this. <laughs> That's a good point, Scott. <laughs> All right, I am a professional. I'm a professional. <laughs> I'm going to do a half hitch because I like having this close to the butt and then I'm going to throw this up there, uh, maybe. And I'm going to do a running bowling. So there's my bowling, tighten that up. You know, in this way. What this does is allows me to tie it a little bit higher, but then the half hitch gets the rope a little closer to the butt. If I just tied the knot right here, there'd be a likelihood of it slipping off, which would be no good. But this will be able to, you know what I mean? The idea is you want to shorten this distance as much as possible because a lot of energy gets built up here. So this is two feet. So you think this is going to free fall four feet before Scott catches it. So. A lot of energy build up. That's why I think this is called negative rigging because you got your block below what you're rigging. Uh, if it were above, it'd be positive rigging. You know, this is going to cause a lot more force. Tree's going to move a lot. Nature of the beast. So I'm going to walk around to this side. And I'm ready whenever you are, Scott. Are we roping out a triple? What do you got? Yeah, triple, quadruple. It's like five feet tall, big nubby. Yeah. Five feet. So obviously what I, my approach is to figure out how big my piece is and you know, that definitely determines on how many wraps and whatnot I'm doing. Um, usually it's like, I'm not quite sure how many wraps, so I like to like maybe go over what I'm supposed to, what you think is good that way. The piece is never going to get away from you because it's all, you know, safety first, but you know, you want to make sure that the climber is going to be clear of the piece when it's dropping out. One, two, 
basically two wraps. See how that goes. Three quarter line. Three quarter line's always got a little bit more bite than half inch. So you got more friction in your favor. All right, Ready? let's do it. Rocking, so I know it's gonna go over. I'm gonna push it, right? I'm gonna hold on tight. Enjoy the ride. Holy shit, this is a big piece, man. <laughs> Fuck. Oh. oh my words. <laughs> <laughs> that was just the first one, dude. Ah, it's a big tree, man. That's a lot of <laughs> tree. I'll lower a little bit more, Brian, and we can try to swing it over. I got it. All right, she's resting. She's resting, man. Yeah, one tree. <laughs> I mean, one. I can't even believe you tried. That thing's huge, man. We need a PV. If the spark were smooth, I'd just loosen it and slide it, but it's so lumpy, I just take it all the way off. I wish the trees grew a little more round. <laughs> I got another face cut to throw out. A uh, big headache coming down. Stay right here, sir. Okay. All right. All right. Okay, headache. All right, safe. Okay. <laughs> yeah, if we feel like they might roll, those won't. This is gonna kick our ass today, man. <laughs> yeah, dude, I'm already tired. So personally, when I run rope, I like to uh, get the rope stretched out as much as possible. You've ran rope and you, you know this, that it likes to kink up sometimes. And you could swap the directions you're putting it on the porter wrap or the stein, but it doesn't always doesn't always work so well so the further you get it stretched out in my opinion um, the better because then the the kinks can work themselves down the line you don't have to tend to it as much 
because uh, I don't know I've had kink line and you know that that kink trying to run through your hand when you're lowering a piece is well that's no fun no fun at all big problems could happen so this is how I eliminate it as much as possible I am ready when you are it's probably about the same size another same sizer huh even more same size than the last one <laughs> I think the last one went pretty good. Yeah, it's probably the same weight. Yeah. Let's do it. Yep. Dude, I, I was not ready for that. You said you were. Well, <laughs> the last time you rocked it, right? This one, just, last time you had to go push, I was totally expecting you to shut this off and... See? Don't expect anything. This is a good lesson. Don't expect anything from Jake. <laughs> Keep your expectations low. You will be satisfied. <laughs> well, things change, you know? I mean, like I, what I was expecting didn't happen. This is my expectation was that you're going to shut the saw off and push on this piece. And then that didn't happen. My expectations you'd be that you were going to be a little more grateful for all that nice wood I just gave you. Don't get me wrong. I am very happy to be right here where I'm at for sure. Okay. Rope in hand? Yep. Another tip to you beginners is uh, make sure the climber's got his rope in hand. And I want everybody to know that I am not a ground guy. <laughs> For the record. <laughs> Just happens to be me on the ground at the moment. <laughs> Chipmunks, do you think you can eat? I'm sorry, Brian. I'm sorry. Uh, chipmunks? Yeah. Probably about 23. <laughs> 23 chipmunks. I didn't kill anything because I didn't need to. I, I, I'm totally not down for killing Unnecessarily? Animals. Yeah. Right, totally. I wonder if there's any been any reports of uh, bear on these trails, you know, as Brian's in the, in the <laughs> middle of a huckleberry bush. <laughs> I like to put my friction device over here and lean into it so I can get weight into my bridge so I'm not just on my D-rings. I like to go back and forth between the bridge and the D-rings. Take turns with them because they'll last longer that way. I, I got one on. Alright, so same size? Uh, yes. <laughs> okay, I'll take that. It's the same size-esque. I think it's maybe a little bit bigger, maybe. I'm ready! Oh yeah! Nice, that felt great. It's not that anybody cares. <laughs> yep, going slow. Okay. I really like this uh, this 462. It's really light. It's a tiny bit weaker than the 461, but it's a whole heck of a lot lighter. So I think the power to weight ratio is really good. The lightweight 28 inch bar on it, really good. I'm really happy with this saw so far. Nice and nice and light, easy to maneuver around in the tree. 
there's no way we can avoid working more than six feet away ever. <laughs> See how close the half hitch is to the butt. You know, I wouldn't feel very good if that were just the whole knot, but really the, the running Bowen's holding it in the middle. Okay, that's free. Let's give it a little chalk, chalky chalk. Another good idea, kids, put a slip knot in the rope. That way it stops when it hits the block. All right, I'm going to want my uh, 66 now. This one was too lumpy down here, so it's just a running bowl and kind of in the middle. The half hitch wouldn't have held on that big lump right there, but it's fine. This will go over good. If you were a faster climber, I wouldn't be waiting as much. You're supposed to give me compliments, Scott. <laughs> <laughs> you are really not good at, <laughs> at this. Yep. Come on. Yeah. <laughs> nice, huh? Oh, roll it, roll it, spin it, spin it, I can't do it anymore. It's over. <laughs> this one small corner was resting up against the tree. <laughs> it's your fault, Brian. <laughs> wow, man. It's hard to let it run when it gets that low, huh? You, you got a fraction of a <laughs> moment. Throw this face cut out. Jake is getting tired. 
Yeah, man. My cuts are getting my cuts are getting <laughs> sloppier. You don't do anything for a month physically. I don't know what you've done. I know you pulled your daughter up a tree. <laughs> yeah, she's not that heavy though. And I know you got your wisdom teeth taken out. Dude, the gate. Oh man, I had a Percocet for a few days. Yeah, awesome, huh? I loved it. Alright, now I know why there's so many on that, so many people on that You know what's really tough is also I picked up some Mexican food from a restaurant and now they do to-go booze And I ordered a margarita on the phone and I was driving and I had a, a margarita in the cup holder And it really took all I had not to, not to drink that man I was like thinking man I would have loved this a couple years ago Dude, I was so tempted Amy was like having margaritas and mojitos and shit like that. And I was like, gosh, it'd be so fun just to get tanked right now. <laughs> I know. How long has it been since you've had a drink? Almost three years. So I'll be two years this month. No, in May. May will, then it may will be two years for me since I've had a drink. I didn't drink any alcohol either during the quarantine. You didn't drink any during the quarantine? But you were camping. I don't drink. All right. I very rarely ever. <laughs> oh my gosh. Is it getting heavy? Well no, it's just it was wanted to, it wanted to swing into the the shed or the whatever this thing is. The little house on the hillside. I'm pretty uh pretty tired. Whatever. All you're doing is cutting. <laughs> yeah, the saw's doing most of the work. <laughs> they look a lot smaller on top of the tree. Well, there's such a big man up there. <laughs> that's right. The stick looks so small. <laughs> yeah, that's right. In comparison. <laughs> that is true. When you put it that way, I guess I am a big man. <laughs> <laughs> sounds like my kid. <laughs> uh, that's how he asks for things now. <laughs> <laughs> Power cry. God, what? What do you want? That's what I say too. He's like so close to like getting his words down. It's so much easier for him just to go. That's what Brian does mostly. I don't like the way you're hard on Brian a lot. Yeah, he's delicate. <laughs> he is hard on me, isn't he? He's hard on you. <laughs> he said hard on. <laughs> That's funny because we have penises. Ah, penises are funny. That's true. <laughs> what the names are, people? No idea. <laughs>
used to just push this stuff, but it kind of hurts my shoulders, so now I do this. Whoa! That was all stretch, guys. It didn't move that much. This thing's so stout. I was pretty comfortable with that. Gosh, I do not like moving wood. This is not why I joined this circus. It is pretty worky. Wow, that is a lot of stretch. You didn't let that run at all, eh? A little bit. A little bit, well, it felt good. Probably only gonna be able to do one more. Not even probably, I'm only gonna be able to do one more. I, uh, I'd like my husky for this next one. <laughs> <laughs> one thing about climbers, they're so f demanding. Fill my saw. I need a new saw. Why is my chain dull? <laughs> Attach the rope. I need a block. I need some water. I'm thirsty. <laughs> me, me, me. So true. Do, do, do. Do, 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 do. This has been fun roping this big wood out. I love the challenge, the yeah. your heart races a little bit every every piece. That was all stretch. <laughs> That's how much the rope is stretching? Yep. Well, the next one will be in the rocks. There won't be a next one. That's it. Now we gotta get creative. So you can see the rope stretches so much. He didn't even let any rope out of his hand, so I can't do this anymore because they're just gonna slam into the ground. If I do that, it will blow up the hillside. Oh no, we're gonna get it down. I, yeah, we're, we just, a little, a little creative, yeah. <laughs> but we'll get it down. All right, so let's get this thing maneuvered, eh? I'm gonna pull the rigging line out. All right. Sorry. Okay. Uh, now that I'm this close to the ground, I'm only gonna be tied in with my steel core flip line. I'm not gonna be double tied in because I'm so close to the ground. And if I cut myself, it's just as easy for me to spur down, probably easier than it would be to try to fell down. So that's why you're always seeing this. And this is actually really hard to cut through. So I did another video on cutting flip lines you can check out, but I'm only gonna be single tied in now that I'm next to the ground.
that's gonna be a lot of work but this is really good for us these pieces are a lot smaller <laughs> That's uh, oh, okay. all I got. I that that yeah, we'll fit it up there. Now you can see the termites. Oh, can yeah. Well, those oh, are just kidding. carpenter ants. Oh. Carpenter ants? Yep. Oh, look at that. Man, look <laughs> at this. Look how big the stump is. Yeah, that was a big one, all right. I mean, that must be over three feet. Yeah, this well, this is 42 inches. Really? This bar, so a little over three feet. A lot of people don't realize, too, you know, the, the bigger they get, the faster they grow because it you know, it adds wood. Oh. So as the tree gets bigger, there's more surface area to add wood to. Yeah. So they actually get bigger faster the bigger they are. Oh, great. So a big tree will grow faster I mean, than a small uh, tree. Girth wise. That's well, why yeah, because really every, every, every dimension, you know, it's adding wood. So the more tree there is, every bit and of it's adding it's wood. Adding. So that, yeah, the bigger it gets, the faster it grows. It does seem like the last few years. I just want to go. Right, right. Because that's the thing, they're small for a long time, and then all of a sudden you look at it one day and it's huge. Yeah. Well, it's too bad it wasn't right. growing in a place where it could belong. Yeah. <laughs> it's pretty old. It is. Gosh, I wonder how many rings we've got there. Does that seem like a lot? Probably 90 if I had to guess. Oh, I guess. Well, I got to like 96, 97. 96, yeah. 97. Yeah. Huh. This is an old tree. Yeah. Sorry, buddy. You were just in the wrong place at the wrong time. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Especially on the, that ledge right there. Yeah. It's no good. Yeah, you don't want to. You don't want to mess with a tree that heavy no. looming over you. I know I wouldn't. <laughs> All right. Well, now we just gotta cut it up. All right. Nice job, Scott. Nice job, Brian. That's hey, it. Man. Thanks. Big old stick. Yeah, that was a big one. There's the stump. Here's the play structure still intact. Rock wall still intact. Here's all the wood. This dude's gonna split it himself. 
And that is a wrap. If you like that, don't forget to like and subscribe. But that's just what everybody says. You don't have to like or subscribe if you don't want. Obviously, you're subscribing because you like it. But yeah. You can subscribe and then like. Yeah. Or... You don't have to like and subscribe. <laughs> yeah, you do. <laughs> they have to like and subscribe. They watch the whole video. You may as well. Yes. I mean, it works that way. I like yeah. this guy. So I'm going to. You subscribed, right? I didn't yeah. like it, though. <laughs> you better like it. <laughs> you have to like it. Can't you hate and subscribe too? Yeah. <laughs> you can give it a thumbs down. Don't give this video a thumbs down. Don't even think about giving the video a thumbs down. Just like and subscribe. That is, that's what that's what YouTubers say.